Good day everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix in case if your Windows 11 shell infrastructure host uh, is on high CPU usage. Now, there has been um, several complaints by Windows 11 user stating that shell infrastructure host is using as much as 10% uh, of uh, CPU power or maybe more than that. Now, this what it does is it is it actually causes the computer to slow down and um, also lags the system because of the system processes. Now, there are a couple of steps which you need to try to, uh, get, uh, to get this issue resolved. Now, first and foremost, uh, to begin with, you need to understand what the shell host is and uh, it, it dictates the taskbar transparency. It starts the menu layout, background images, and other graphical elements. Now, to check the uh, usage, what you can do is you can press Control shift escape on your keyboard which will open up the task manager on your computer now under the in case if your uh, if if your task manager shows a little de uh, fewer details you can click on more details and uh, under the processes section you will have to look for windows shell host which would be in, uh, this is how it would show up and uh, you, you can go ahead and check yourself what how much um, CPU it is being used here for this particular process in case if it is uh, less than uh, 5 or less than 7 it is pretty normal and it can be 0% as well now to fix the problem the first and foremost what you will have to do is you will have to open control panel so you will have to click on the search button and type control panel open control man panel in case if you if this section is on a category view change the view from category to small icons or large icons so let me select large icons here and click on troubleshoot under troubleshoot you will have to click on sec system and security under system and security let's you will have to do a right click do a right click on your mouse and click on this run as administrator the next prompt what you would see is um, you will have to go ahead and run this troubleshooter which says system maintenance troubleshooter. Click on next. What this will do is it will try to detect the problem by itself and um, the troubleshooting would be completed. Once this is done, uh, you will have to go ahead and restart the computer and that should uh, fix the problem. Now, in case um, if this doesn't reduce the CPU usage, the next thing what you will have to do is you will have to make sure your Windows is up to date. So to do that, what you will have to do is you will have to click on the start button, go to settings, click on Windows update on the left hand side of your screen. This will take you to the Windows update screen. And um, in case if you see this message, you are up to date um, just to make sure that your windows is up to date you can also click on check for updates what this will do is it will try to check for the latest updates um, and see if there are any available updates for your windows and it will uh, you will be able to see if in case if there are any pending updates you will be seeing it on the screen and uh, you can go ahead and click on install updates now once this is done uh, what you can do is in my case I have one of the security intelligence update for the Windows Defender and it is installing at the moment once it has been installed uh, you can go ahead and restart the computer and this should bring down the uh, CPU usage now in spite of all these two steps in case if it doesn't fix our problem uh, what I would suggest you is to run the uh, SFC scan on your computer to do that what you will have to do is you will have to click on the search button and um, open command prompt you will have to run as administrator in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue and here you will have to go ahead and type the command sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter now this will uh, take about 15 minutes once the uh, sfc scan is completed what you can do is you can go ahead and restart the computer and um, check if the system processes uh, unit has been fixed in case if it has been fixed you're good to go you don't have to try any other step um, in case if it doesn't fix, uh, what, what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and uh, try the next step. So let me close this. The next step uh, is you will have to run the DISM. 
so which is nothing but uh, the clean image restoration health tool so here you will have to click on the search button and uh, in the search you will have to look for PowerShell you will have to do a right click on the PowerShell or click on run as administrator or you can click on run as administrator from this menu in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen now to run the DISM tool what you will have to do is you will have to run this command which is DISM dot e e x e space forward slash online space forward slash clean up dash image space forward slash restore health So once uh, and you will also see this command in the uh, video description you can copy this command in the paste it in the video description so once you hit enter you will have to wait for a couple of minutes to complete the process other than this um, what you can also do is um, uh, and once this is done you can go ahead and restart the computer in case if it fix a problem you you're good to go uh, so in case if it doesn't other than this, what you can also do is you can try to run an antivirus scan on your computer just to make sure that you don't have any kind of uh, issues or any kind of a malware in infection. So uh, trying all these steps should uh, ideally fix a problem. In case if you're still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, I'll be more than happy to uh, come up with a possible solution. So I hope this video was useful in case if you like this video. Please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.